right, we're here at the ATA show, and my friends from HHA has got a new item for the AR systems, and also black powder. So he's going to kind of explain it to you, so that way I don't have to remember everything you said. That's just fine. <laughs> yep, what we've got here is we've got a sighting system that goes on any Picatinny 7 ace rail. This can be used on 22s, uh, muzzle loaders, gu uh, air guns, or centerfire rifle. Okay. And what you've got is you've got a scope tilting mechanism. You use a single cross-haired scope, no more multiple hair, multiple mill dot. Sight in, if this is on a little AR-22, I would use, and this will come with three different tape kits, a 200, a 300, and a 600 yard tape kit. On this particular little gun, I would use the 200 yard tape kit. We've got a removable minutes of angle scale that comes on the unit. Sight in at 50 yards using the turret of the scope. Go out to 200, sight in by tilting the minutes of angle dial, okay. and whatever reading you come up under the magnifier, you go grab tape number 76 out of the package. The unit will come with a spare spool. You put that tape on the spool. Before you remove this one, just wind it back to zero. Remove it, slide that spool on, and put the 50 underneath. <laughs> the 50 underneath the line because you sight it in at 50. 50. Lock it on. Now you've got a 22 that shoots 50 out to 200 yards in five yard increments. So very similar to those who have bought from me in the past is when we put the uh, TAC-15, we put a, their HHA system on that, the Correct. optimizer. Yep. So you've just basically reconfigured it to fire on. Exactly. In, in theory. Yep. Okay. Exactly. And the spools are, you were saying something earlier when I was listening, that you could have a spool for different firearms ready to go on that scope. Exactly. Different loads. Different loads, yep. Like black powder. If you have a muzzle loader and you want to shoot uh, uh, a certain grain sabot one day with a certain amount of powder behind it, now you want to play with something else, you just do the same, you just sight in. You could have a dozen different spools in your toolbox for whatever you're shooting that day. Wow, very cool. All right, this is and where then, we go to the ATA show, guys. Yep, and then one, one, more, uh, one more benefit of it is on your multiple mill dot, multiple haired scopes, once you play with your magnification, your gapping starts to change on those, on those, on those lines. Okay. Now that you've got one hair, no matter what magnification you're on, you don't have any, any there's, all the error is taken out of the system. There is no error that can be found with, with a single crosshaired scope. Wow, very cool. All right, this is the ATA show, and uh, we appreciate all your information. We appreciate Obviously, your... I wouldn't remember all that. <laughs>